And now coming in at number one, I bet you can guess what it is. It is the Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. I'm Weekly Bricks, and welcome back to another LEGO video. And today, I'm going to be telling you all what I think are the top 5 best LEGO Marvel Iron Man Max ever. Now there's just a couple things I'd like to talk about before I get started. First of all, I'd like to give a quick shout out to JP's LEGO Reviews. He is a really awesome channel. As you can tell from his name, he mostly does set reviews, but he also does tons of other content such as shorts, comparison videos, informational videos, and much more. He's a super nice guy. He has over 600 subscribers, and I'll have a link to his channel down in the description for you to go and subscribe to him if you haven't already and help him get to 700 subscribers. I think it would really mean a lot to him. Now, I'd also like to thank you all for 10,000 channel views. That's just an absolutely crazy feat. And the number just keeps going up because my videos have been getting so many views recently. I'm so grateful for it. And also, I would really appreciate it if you helped me get to 200 subscribers before the end of June. I am so incredibly close. We are less than 25 away now. So please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and share the channel around to anyone who might enjoy. And down in the comments below, use the hashtag road to 200 subs to show your support for my channel. I would really appreciate it. And of course, while you're hitting that subscribe button, be sure to also like the video and turn on the notification bell if you enjoy my content. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. Now, the rules for my ranking are as follows. First of all, there will not be either of the $10 Iron Man mech armors that have been released in the past couple years. There also won't be the Iron Man figure that was released earlier this year. And lastly, there will not be the 2018 UCS Hulkbuster. For the sake of this list, none of these sets count as Iron Man mechs. Now, kicking it off at number five here, we have got the 2020 76164 Iron Man Hulkbuster versus AIM Agent. And this set is based off of the PS4 Avengers video game. And when I say based off of, I'm pretty sure this wasn't actually in the game because a lot of the LEGO sets for this game include stuff that wasn't actually in the game. I believe that it is instead based off of the comic version of the Hulkbuster, which is why the head looks really weird and flat. And I know a lot of people have hated on the set for this. And while it doesn't look the best, it is accurate, so I gotta give that to LEGO. But overall, the mech actually looks pretty good. Besides the head, the rest of it looks absolutely incredible. It even has a turret on one of the shoulders for Rescue to sit in. Speaking of Rescue, she's technically the only exclusive minifigure in the set, unless you count the AIM Sniper, which doesn't really count as an exclusive minifigure. And while this isn't the best Hulkbuster we've ever gotten, I still think it's pretty cool. Next up here at number 4, we have got the 2021 76194 Tony Stark's Sicarian Iron Man. Now this set is from the Marvel Studios Disney Plus TV show What If. Quite honestly, I don't think this set should have been released in 2021. They should have postponed it. Since they postponed this episode of the show to season 2, we only saw a glimpse of it in the finale episode of season 1. But either way, the set is pretty cool. At the time of its release, all of the minifigures were exclusive, but unfortunately now only the Watcher minifigure is exclusive, since the Tony Stark and Valkyrie have both been featured in other sets that have released this year. And the build of the mech is actually pretty cool. It's a lot different from the other ones, as it can transform into a car without having the entire set be disassembled. You just reassemble the body parts of the mech to change it into a race car, which I think is a pretty cool idea. Of course, I have no idea if this actually happens in the show as the episode is postponed, but I really hope that the mech is able to do this in the TV show as it would be really cool to get sort of a transformer in the MCU. Next year, at number three, we have got the 2021 76201 Captain Carter and the Hydra Stomper. Now this set is also from What If, and in my opinion just slightly beats the Sicarian Iron Man. This set is based off of the first episode of the series where Peggy Carter took the Super Soldier Serum instead of Steve. And I think the mech actually looks really cool. While it's not the exact red green, I understand why since LEGO doesn't really like to make military vehicles and sand green is a military color and they just don't want to get associated with that kind of stuff. One thing that one thing that doesn't make sense about it is that it has a Captain America shield on the left side of the chest. I mean, I get that Lego's trying to make it familiar for kids, but Captain America doesn't exist in this universe, so it doesn't really make a ton of sense. And the minifigures are actually pretty good. All of them are exclusive variants to this set, and this set is definitely still on my wish list. Now next up here, at number two, we have got the 2021 76190 Iron Man Ironmonger Mayhem. 
Now this set is from the Marvel Studios movie Iron Man, the very first movie in the MCU, and it is our first and unfortunately only set based off of that movie. The set turned out actually pretty good. I know that it is extremely oversized for what it is in the movie, but that just meant for more room for LEGO to make it fully fleshed out and really detailed with all the different weapons and stuff and even a glow-in-the-dark arc reactor on the chest. Now this set, just like the Sakarian Iron Man, had all three minifigures exclusive to the set at the time of its release, but now in 2022, there's only one exclusive minifigure in the set being Obadiah Stane. The Pepper Potts and Mark III Iron Man have both been featured in another set being the new Iron Man Armory. I mean, this variant of the Mark III is technically exclusive with that helmet, but that's kind of up for debate. And just overall, I thought the Iron Monger mech in the movie was really cool, and it definitely made for an outstanding set. Now before we get to number one, I would just like to give some honorable mentions. The first one being the 2015 76031 The Hulkbuster Smash from the Marvel Studios movie Avengers Age of Ultron. And my brother has had this set ever since it came out, and it is definitely a really great set as it was the first Iron Man mech to ever be made into LEGO, but in my opinion, it is the worst one, which is not necessarily a bad thing because LEGO sets are supposed to get better and better as they release more of them over time. And the second honorable mention is the 2018 76104, the Hulkbuster smash up from the Marvel Studios movie, Avengers Infinity War. Now my brother has also had this set ever since it came out and it is definitely better than the Age of Ultron one and it is a lot more detailed. Of course, these two Hulkbusters are based on two different versions of the suit, but either way, I really think that they're both spectacular sets. And now coming in at number one, I bet you can guess what it is. It is the 2019 76124 War Machine Buster based off of the Marvel Studios movie Avengers Endgame. Now just like with the 2020 Hulkbuster, this isn't exactly based off of its source material. This mech was not featured in Avengers Endgame. The initial wave of Endgame sets were supposed to be non-spoilery, which I guess makes sense, and I know my opinion might not be very popular. And while this isn't canon to the MCU, it is still a really great set, and a set that I have been wanting to get ever since it came out and I unfortunately still do not have it. It comes with two exclusive variants of War Machine and Ant-Man, and two Outriders, and the mech for what it is, is really outstanding. I always thought that the concept of War Machine was super cool with all of its different weapons and stuff, and that's why I love this mech so much. It has so many different weapons and cannons. I just think it made for a really cool set, even though it wasn't featured in the movie. And while the Endgame sets from the past couple years have been better and more accurate, I'm still glad that LEGO made this set. There you go. Those are the top five best LEGO Marvel Iron Man mechs ever. If you guys have any questions or comments or suggestions or anything like that, please be sure to leave those down in the comments below and let me know what your favorite LEGO Iron Man mech is down there as well. Now, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like this or any of my content, be sure to hit that like button, click subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and you can help get me to 200 subscribers before the end of the month. Also, check out my account, Top Bricks, on LEGO Ideas, for more LEGO related content. Now I hope you have a great day or night, wherever and whenever you are, and until next time, fellow brickers, peace out.